So this is Scooby-Doo, Night of a Thousand Frights. It's a hundred frights. Are you sure about that? What if there's a thousand frights in the game? What if, you know, what, are you scared? No. His little baby Zilla scared in a Scooby-Doo game. Shut up. So we start with an intro that's like kind of like the Scooby-Doo classic cartoon theme. Yep. Except rendered worse. Skip. You smell that salty sea air, Scoob? You know what that means, buddy. Yeah. Seafood! Fried There's a laugh fans. track in this game? Lunafish. Are you kidding me? Why are we playing in the basement? I don't know, makes it spooky or something? It's kind of loud down here with the water heater on. Hindsight's 2020, okay? My friend Holly says there's strange goings on up here at her family home, Mystic Manor. <laughs> I love how big Scooby Doo's eyes get. And she could really use our help. Look, there she is now. And what mystery is that? It's my uncle, the famous inventor, Professor Alexander Graham. He was just about to unveil some new top secret invention when he disappeared. Well, the good news is the water heater turned off. The bad news is, is I can't figure no out how to skip this part of the game. And no one will it's like we're watching an episode of the show. You may as well just sit down with some snacks and watch. It's, when do we get to play? Don't worry, Holly. We'll help you look around. You said it, Daphne. We're not afraid. Right, gang? Wrong. Yeah. Like me and Scoob have seen this sh before. So predictably, Scooby and Shaggy wuss out from going to solve the mystery, while Fred looks like he wants to go bone Daphne's friend. Hey, keep it PG, okay? This game is rated E for everyone. Gee, Scoob, it's not like they got your name all over them. Yeah, well, actually, they do. <laughs> so then, oh, Shaggy died, so... Now what? I guess we're playing the Scooby. So the whole game, I guess you're just going around eating Scooby snacks. I love when he eats them, they just like disappear. They're like this huge cookie, half the size of his body, and then they just disappear. Right. It's a headless right. This game's not that scary, to be honest. I know, like, Night of a Hundred Frights, more like Night of a Hundred Boredoms. So you go around trying to find keys, and, and trying to find a map. What, what is that? Time Warp? That's a Time Warp! In a Scooby-Doo game? I thought we were playing Scooby-Doo, not Doctor Who! Can't make this jump. Come on. Get up there. <laughs> Patient. No, no, no. I'll do it. Get up there. Oh, no! So Scooby's going around with a football helmet, socking guys in the crotch. Better be careful not to get a concussion. Or stick his head up someone's ass. Now he's swinging around like a drunkard or something, like, holy cow, whoa! On a tire, the chandeliers, everything, oh my goodness. Getting some serious airtime here. Oh, wait, wait, go through the door, look. Yeah, it's the girl from the beginning of the game. He's just awful. As soon as we got inside the mansion, the mastermind that he told us that he is behind my uncle's disappearance. Wait, really? Did she just reveal who... He told us that he is behind my uncle's disappearance. Did the mystery? I think she did. Well, case closed. Our job is done. Scooby-Dooby-Doo, where are 